gone everywhere from Europe to the Asia Pacific. We've even asked several questions online, but we can't forget. My view is that it would it would be good, if possible, to close Guantanamo Bay, if it can be done safely. Uh, and the reason I say that is that it, it, it ends up being part of jihadi recruiting and so forth, and I just as soon not leave that to future presidents. Now, why is it tricky to do that? The, the reason it's tricky to do that is this. Some of the people who are there at Guantanamo Bay it, 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 it have to be detained indefinitely, okay? They just gotta be locked up. So if they're not locked up in Guantanamo Bay, they need to be locked up somewhere. So we are looking at places in the United States, prisons and other places to which these people can be moved. Sent here to go to Dinfos to pick up the BMAR class. And my question is, do you think the defense budget? The Asia Pacific Theater, it's not in the news all the time, right? Like the Middle East is. So you tend to set it aside in your mind, but you gotta remember that's where half of humankind lives and half of the economy of the world is. So it's hugely important to America's future that we remain what we've been for 70 years, which is this, the, the linchpin of peace and prosperity in that part of the world. Has been busy and hard at work for us here today and they have our next question. Petty Officer Ben. Let me put it this way. We could defeat ISIL. U.S. military could defeat ISIL. That's not the trick. The trick is to defeat ISIL in a lasting way. And that means that after they're defeated, they need to stay defeated, which means that there need to be local forces representing the local people who keep the kind of extremists that ISIL represents from taking over again. Well, thank you. Our Secretary of Defense, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Thanks, guys.